going on everyone? Sam here with Layton's Quarry Cards. Welcome back to this episode of uh, No Method All Madness. We're feeling good today, to be honest. Got the beard trimmed, got the haircut today. Went to the barber and said, I'm looking on filming No Method All Madness that I got you. So, feeling good, feeling good. I'm excited. Got not a ton of cards in this order. A couple exciting ones that are gonna stay with me for a little bit. So I'm very, very much looking forward to opening those. Start off, we've got two in here. Go with this guy first. Forgot about that one, actually. That's pretty cool. Uh, start off, we're gonna have a 23 Bowman Draft uh, Quinn McDaniel True Blue PSA 9. Uh, first auto for the San Francisco Giants. Again, a lot of these are starting to surface the graded Bowman Draft from this this past year, so I'm excited about them. There's a lot of guys that I'm chasing, so it's gonna be an exciting class for sure. A lot of those guys are jumping into the top 30 prospects for their respective teams, so. Definitely a good time to get into some Bowman Draft. Number two, this one's pretty cool. Uh, this is going to be 2020 Panini Contenders Draft Fix Basketball at Udoka as a bouquet on the Cracked Ice Auto, number 223. This guy was an absolute stud at Kansas. Had some uh, some minutes for the Jazz. He bounced around a little bit as well, but uh, definitely still a pretty good player. A lot of people love uh, their Kansas Jayhawks who collect that team too. So Very nice. On to the next one. we got two here. Next up, we've got 23 Bowman Chrome PSA 9 first, Green Shimmer number to 99. That is Alfredo Duno of the Cincinnati Reds. He's becoming a really, really good catching prospect. Uh, he's rising through the ranks a little bit. He's jumped on the top 30 for the Cincinnati Reds as well. So excited about him. Another Bowman Chrome guy. A lot of the international prospects are always in the Bowman Chrome because it's between Bowman and Bowman Draft. So you get all the international guys there. All right, this next one is awesome. I'm so excited about this one. This is staying in my collection. This is going to be 2015 Topps Heritage Masahiro Tanaka, uh, PSA 8 Gum Stain Back. Really cool uh, part of this card is um, in 2015 when Heritage released, uh, a lot of people were looking at their cards and flipping them over and saying, the hell Topps, like there's stains on the back of them. Topps said, well we got you all, got to look at the checklist because that's actually meant to be there. These were meant to kind of mimic the 70s and 80s tops of the cards that had the gum on the back. So a lot of times it'd be the same run and the same card would have the gum stain on the back like these ones do right here. And uh, I just thought it was really cool. It's a cool short print. Um, I don't think they did it in any other heritage. If you actually smell it, it smells like gum too. So it's really cool, man. And plus Tanaka in between CC and Garrett Cole, Tanaka was the Yankees ace. So big fan of his. Not a ton of his cards out there. He didn't play super long in the big, so very, very excited to have that one. <laughs> this next one's so awesome, dude. This next one's freaking great. There it is. Went it from the wrong angle. Oh, we're dub double team bagging today. Good lord. Really need some extra protection for this one, evidently. This is going to be, my lord, man, 2006 tops. Uh, SGC9, Red Refractor, Maglio Ordonez of the Detroit Tigers, man. Maglio is so awesome in his prime. Really an AL Central legend as well. Again, 46 of 90. I love the look at 2006 tops. It was one of the first years I collected super heavily. So uh, this is a really nostalgic set for me. And any Topps Chrome Red, doesn't matter if it's football, baseball, basketball, just looks absolutely gorgeous. So probably going to hold on to that one too. And then we got the last card. Last card, this is an interesting one. Uh, 2019 Panini Prism, uh, Davidas Servitas of the uh, Detroit Pistons on the Tiger Stripe from Prism Choice. Uh, big fan of Tiger Stripes. Again, the really, really good players are super, super expensive. So excited about that one. Servitas actually won MVP of uh, an overseas league. I don't remember off the top of my head which one it was, but he did win MVP. So there is potential he'll be coming back overseas. So we'll see what happens with that. To America, I should say. So, yeah, that is going to do it for this episode of No Method All Madness. Um, smaller uh, order on the smaller side this week, but I have a couple cards coming in next week, and my watch list is already built out for this upcoming week. Hoping to win a bunch of cards for that one. So, thank you again, as always, for watching, and we'll see you next week.